Um, I really wanted to become Rasta since an early age when I heard reggae music for the first time with my mother and father. And then since then, I've just been interested in them about their dreadlocks and why they have dreadlocks. And they seem just so in tune with um, Mother Nature and, and so happy with themselves. And that's why I really want to become Rasta. So this is the new flower, Addis Ababa. You know, that uh, blossoming capital of Ethiopia. It's really been transforming, even in the little time I've been here, last 15 years. All these high buildings, you know, most of them are very new. I know it's a give thanks unto the kings of kings, unto the Lord of lords, Ja Rastafari. Ah, Greetings. Uh. Greetings. Welcome to Ethiopia. Thank you, thank you. Rastafari bless you. In Kondena Meta. The first Rasta I met in Ethiopia was Ras Quintercept. Ras means head, which is a title of high dignitaries. A lot of people know him as Barefoot Rasta. And when you walk down the street with him, people are like, oh, it's Ras Quintercept, look. Look, it's Barefoot Rasta. to come out of Babylon as, uh, and it's time to gather. Uh, Ethiopia is the high mountain, the headquarters, the highland, the head, the horn of Africa is called. Yeah, and it literally is the, the mountain of Africa, you know, the, 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 the strong fortress. And Shashmani is like a key to the door of coming into Africa because we see the whole of Africa as, as blessed and, has, and, and as the future. Did you see out of the plane yeah. the mountains Very nice. ahead of you? We just talked about ourselves, about our history, about our life. I told him that I was born in Canada. I grew up in India, Hong Kong, England, Switzerland. I got to know many different cultures, but I think that when it comes down to it, all people are the same. Yeah, I, I was on the window coming up, coming into Ethiopia, and I always remember that. Yeah. And Vancouver Island as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very nice in Vancouver Island. And you can sort of say that he became my Rasta teacher in Ethiopia. And then he invited me to his house in Shashamana, which is really, really a great thing that I cherish. Like, thank you so much, Rasta Quintessette. Shashamana is a place in the middle of Ethiopia that the rest is from all over the world call their Zion, their homeland. It was founded back in the 60s when the Emperor Haile Selassie invited all the black people of the world to Shashamana to thank them for helping him kick out the Italians in World War II. The Rastas believe Haile Selassie was God. He defends his country's cause, calls upon the world to stop the war, and declares that Ethiopia is firmly for peace. A nation praying for peace, but ready to fight to the last. There was a mass movement to, of people wanting to go and fight in Ethiopia. The response was so strong and so genuine, and uh, there were some men who came here who represented themselves very well in the Air Force. There was Herbert Julian, there was John Robson, a Jamaican. Herbert Julian is a Trinidadian, by the way. There were others, too. So the upshot of that was that after the liberation and the, 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 the victory of Ethiopia, His Majesty gave this land grant. We've been invited by the emperor himself 
and in, on behalf of the Ethiopian nation and people. Vasco Intercep went back to Shashamana and I stayed in Addis and just to look around to see ancient things like Haile Selassie's old palace. And there I met his old cupbearer, the person who maybe served him tea, served him dinner, maybe washed his clothes and poss very possibly had some conversations with Haile Selassie himself. And it was just such a privilege to meet him and have a, have a conversation with him. And, to, and I even shook his hand. And I remember what he said. He said that he doesn't believe that Haile Selassie is a god, like the Rastas believe, but he believes that he was an angel. Well, at least uh, it's nice. Tonight it's gonna be the last night that I'm gonna eat meat, and that I'm gonna drink alcohol. Because tomorrow morning I'm gonna start being rasta. Hello, I'm Alula. I'm a musician and singer, so I'm going to join for dinner. Uh, to my friend Pascal. Uh, this is last time to eat meat. From now on, you should have to be a rasta. Uh, so I'm joining for that uh, ceremony. <laughs> Tonight was a celebration of me becoming rasta. <laughs> Drank a lot of alcohol. It's very, very yummy, like the honey wine. It's one of the best alcohols I've ever tried in my life. It's so sweet, so yummy. And I also ate so much yummy meat. Yeah, Pascal is really drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this appeared and he did uh, funny stuff. Yeah, of course I'm gonna miss meat and alcohol, but I'm also gonna be really happy that I won't be having it. So I feel like, it's, I feel like I'm gonna purify my body a little bit without having eating meat or, or alcohol throughout the time I'm in Ethiopia. I have a, a cheese, a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, yes. how much? Yes. Ch one, one cheese. Okay. So good. Aitao means they eat no salt. Yeah, it's only difficult. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna miss the most is eating meat, especially hamburgers. It's those yummy, juicy hamburgers. It's delicious. Yeah, I really love hamburgers. I'm Rastaman. I like help poor people and some weak people all the people. I need to work a good thing. And how long would it take to go to Sheshamane? Oh, very far from uh, yeah. Adi. How many kilometers? 300 kilometers. 300 kilometers, yeah. okay. All right, Gosal. Oh, and we need to go buy some food for food? the trip, yeah, because I cannot eat meat or anything because I'm coming Rasta. Oh, you can to Rasta? Yeah. That's so good. I appreciate you. That's it. That's a good choice. And I like you. 
you you just uh, my brother. You rustle, ma? Yes, yes, my, my brother. brother. Yeah, yeah. You, you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. <laughs> like banana, oranges. You have anything else? Yeah. Like what? It's papaya. Papaya? Yeah. Rasta faria. It's uh, believed by Haile Selassie. It's a god. Rasta man, like peace. Like he's kind, kind people. It gives some things. If I have two things, I give one things my brothers. Oh, chat. You like chat? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you like chat? Yeah. Do you have some chat here? Yeah, that's a good. That's a good. Nice yeah. chat. Yeah, it's nice chat. Yeah. And just chew, eat, chew, like yeah, eat. Yeah. Yeah. Don't slow, swallow. Okay. Yeah. Just put here. Okay. Okay. Organic. Yeah, very organic. Organic. Yeah. yeah. I eat chat. I feeling happiness. Abomismar is a very dangerous chat. It's that high power. High power. High power. Wow, I feel different than normal people, you know? It's like, it's weird, it's hard to explain. I feel like stronger, I feel like I can run faster. If you look up at the tree, branches like, look like lungs or something. Breathing in carbon dioxide and breathing out oxygen. And we're breathing in oxygen, breathing out carbon dioxide. So it took him about an hour to fix the car. And then we drove off. And I just, just fell asleep right after that. And I was sleeping in the car and he continued driving. So some of it felt like almost like a dream because I was in a half sleep state, sometimes waking up then going back to sleep. But, but I, I guess all of it was real. Yeah, we are in Shashaman. Shashaman is green. There is no before green. Yeah. Like this. Ah! Yeah! Hi, Pichi. Ah! People ask the question, but do they really want to have the answer? So my question with Pascal is, does he, is he really genuine? Or is it just another little something to fill up time? And it's one thing to just want to meet Rasta and uh, for a while and have a good time. And uh, uh, it's like holiday. Uh -oh. I 
investors, they smoke a lot of weed, but they don't see it as a drug. They see it as a religious sacrament, like incense or, or meh. And the first night, uh, Ras Quintercept invited his neighbor, Ras Danny, and his children as well. So we could reason together, talk about Rasta, talk about each other. And that was, re that was really, really cool. God Almighty makes the moment of how things come to existence. Now it's time for for the line of Judas line to 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 to, 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 to veil and set things straight again. Deception in the world is that man who rule the world don't want the people to wake up and heal themselves. They want to keep the people in ignorance and in dumbness. The government, they're also confused. Because yes. they don't know what's happening. Everything is going down in their, in their countries. So I'm standing up for my rights, for my life. Because that's what the Rastafari and I see in chant and give praises about is about the, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. My majesty in this time is in the ascension. Behavior, behavior is the savior. That is the answer, you know, behavior. So it's not just for the here to know, or government to behave themselves. Every individual because I and I self, fulfill yourself in your life. I and I means me, but it also means we. It's a very nice way to express togetherness. I took up the barefoot uh, trot in as a man coming up to Ethiopia. And yeah, it is a conscious uh, decision. The coming and leaving Canada now and uh, really realizing that that's, that's the reality of my day to day. I'm leaving Canada and going to <clears throat> setting off to the gates of Zion and so. So arriving at the airport now and running around the airport, it just came upon me. I'm really left this place now. The, the, the new, it's like a new time. I just took off my shoes without the scarcity. It was a uh, premeditated. One airport official somewhat uh, sternly put to me the point that uh, I would not be allowed and that it just poured in on me that in gratitude and uh, I won't be returning here again and I'm going to Ethiopia. That's the promised land. And that's the reason that I've taken off my shoes. 
and the students now very graciously uh, escorted and I into the airplane, so no more problem from that, from that point. And probably that was the last time I've ever been seriously uh, challenged about being shoe free. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Now go back to that side. Oh. <laughs> is mostly farmland, and even though it is in Ethiopia, it looks like in the middle of Jamaica or something. There's rasters everywhere, and pictures of Haile Selassie just all over the place. There's Caribbean restaurants, and there's, there's rasters from all over the world in Shashimana. There's German rasters, French rasters, Japanese rasters, Caribbean, Swedish. I don't remember, just, just from everywhere. of Asha. I'm coming from Germany originally. Rasta wise I well through Bob Marley I came to, to reggae music to Rastafari and I started to read my Bible. I accepted his majesty and I accepted Rastafari as a way of life for me. I always wanted to get out of Germany from I was small. Finally on my way I get to Rasta and I find out about Ethiopia. When I came to Ethiopia the first impression was really very good. I love the people, I love the country, I love the food. So I really give thanks to be here now, to get a piece of land, to set up my place and, well, plant food for the future and, well, get stronger with the community. 17 years I had dreadlocks, yeah, but when I came to Ethiopia, these small insects, they came in my beard and inkola all over, so it was time to cut them. I know there's a truth and you need to find the truth for yourself. And I was in Germany this year and all this Euro crisis with Greek and Italy and Spain. I mean, it's really signs of the time, you know? And well, if you check the whole world situation, I mean, it's a big econo ecological, ecological crisis as well as the, the finance crisis all over. We don't believe in money, you know? So I personally believe that Ethiopia is really a very special place. And I believe that we have a chance from, from running away from this war in Babylon. And you get together with people, you meet people on your way and, well, you grow in like a tree. Danai. I'm from France, but I'm from Guadeloupe. In this part of Shashamani, you have no house. Because you have Ayana, you have no people, so people are afraid. It's good for me because I, I learn how to live too. How to live alone without electricity, without water. So it's like survival, but it's naturally. For the people outside, it's survival, but there, like I live, I live like a rich for Ethiopian people, by example. But for people outside, I live like a poor, because it's different vision. Because it's a choice, man. It's a choice we made to, make, to live like this, to, to, to learn to live like this. Because it's very important for your spirit. A simple life is just so great. I've always thought when I was young, I was like, oh, what if I could live a simple life, just have my, my house, my own land, so I can farm my things. I came to see and I see them people actually doing it as well. It's not impossible. And especially somebody th your th your age as well, just yeah. 22. That's in two years. Oh, oh, 22 how old are you? 20 now. 20? Yes. I've been my first coming in Ethiopia, I was 20. Was 20 as well? Yeah, I make my birthday there for my 20 years old. I tell you, man, it's not, not, nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. If you work for this, it's not easy.
the, the, the first years is, is difficult too because you have to wait before to can eat your fruit mm -hmm. or your legume. The first year is, is a year to prepare for after, for the future, but the future can be better, man. The future can be better, but I tell you the truth, man. If you want good, man, just give good, man. Just give for everyone. In Africa, we say, if you don't know where you go, you have to know where you're from. Me, I, before, I don't know where I go. I tell you the truth, I was lost, man. I have to know where I'm from. So I go to Guadeloupe. And after, I said, no, for me, it's not finished. I have to see more. I have to know more. And naturally, I come in Africa. But I, my first come in Ethiopia, it was two years ago. When I come back in uh, France, everything it was different. The people, the material. In my house, I don't use the electricity like before, the water like before. Um, my spirit is very different. You know, the life is the life is no matter about material and money and vanity and big things. With little things, you can make more money, more. And when it's difficult to have something, you have more pleasure when you get the things. Now I'm 22, and the first time I heard about Rastafari, it was in 2000. I was 10 years old. It's my uncle. Big up for him. Because it's him, the first one talk me about Rastafari and about your culture, about my culture. By the time near the six o'clock, the Ayana start to go out. Sometimes they come by my land or in the back of my house. And uh, it's dangerous. You have people, sometimes they fight with the Ayana. So see one at one point, okay? Hina, stop, 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 stop. Stop, Hina, Hina. Hina, Hina, stop, stop, stop. Stop. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Where is it? Where is it? This is dangerous very much. It's dangerous. Because if it's only he one, only one, he yeah. was afraid. Maybe they, he will call the he friend, maybe they will give you problem. He'll call his friends? Yeah. Maybe bring two or three Ahina back? Maybe. <gasps> no. Oh, I just, no, no. Okay, let's go. Marabella, 
Será mi misericordia, mamá. Y ahora por mi madre vela. Será mi misericordia, mamá. Y ahora. In 1948, Emperor Haile Selassie donated 500 acres of his private land to allow the members of the Rastafari movement and the black people of the world to come settle from Jamaica or other parts of the Caribbean and to go back to Africa, their, their homeland. And ever since then, Rastas from all over the world have been going to Shashamena to live there. Pascal, how do you, as a young white man, prepare to worship an African god? Mm, that's a really good question. Well, so it says in the Bible that um, when, when Christ comes back, it, it doesn't matter what nation you are, you, if you worship him, then, then, then you'll be accepted into the community. And I found out here that, that, that all the black people are so accepting to other nations coming here and also worshiping the same God. It is not a smooth playing field. It is not a level playing field. It is a playing field which required, requires enormous quantities of faith and patience. And we don't want to discourage you, mm -hmm. but we want you to understand that there is a sense of mission and there's a vision. And that if you're going to be a brother, there's that way in which sometimes you're going to be made to feel uncomfortable because you're inviting yourself or perhaps you've been invited, perhaps you've been called, perhaps you've been designated to play a role in what essentially is a black African resistance movement. Mm -hmm. you know, so I just, just want you to know and be very, very clear that there are times when you're going to have to choose between your own and what is right. Uh. And that's not always going to be an easy choice. No, no, it isn't. The person you fall in love with may not like Rastafari. Difficult, difficult choices, life choices. The job you may want to aspire to or to go after may not be happy with someone with dreadlocks. You, you know, mm -hmm. these are the realities of being Rastafari. You show up somewhere and immediate judgments are made about you as someone who is a drug user. When Rastafari shuns drugs, but that is not common knowledge. So it requires you to be tough. To be able to defend the faith of Rastafari by knowing the teachings of his majesty. The teachings of his majesty are very liberating. They are revolutionary. And even Rastafari people who have trod this trod for many years have to grapple, grapple with sometimes making the change advocated by His Majesty, who has admonished us to become a new race. So it means that you may have to be abandoning whiteness to, to embrace consciousness. Meandering, wandering, roaming, pondering, exploring, bathing. Don't forget the way. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wow. Swimming, singing, chanting, relaxing, meditating. Listening, talking, 
Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Well, one of the gems of Shashamani is the is is Wandogenet and the volcanic mineral spring waters of uh, of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, 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 Wandogenet. I took Pascal to Wandogenet, relaxing mentally and emotionally, so that I could appreciate love or our spiritual consciousness, aligning our knowledge with gratitude to being alive. So I know I'm very conscious that this is the real healing of our, of our beings. This is the harmonizing of ourselves. And Prahilislas used to go to that spot, which is now called uh, the Emperor's Shower, for his own shower and relaxation. How was your shower? Well, yeah. This is the pearl of Shashamani. Take a shower, man. It'll be good for your whole... Oh. Yeah. The thing is, I can't, I can't wet my, my baby dreads, though. Because the water might come out. Do you think so? Yeah, who told you that? Well, the, the hairdresser told me that. Ah. All right. Good. Good point, then. Good yeah. point for you two taking right now. Almost yeah. as a Almost as a teaching lesson. The dread, why it's called dread, it has nothing to do with the hairdresser. Okay. It is nothing to do with somebody even told you. It is to do with nature, natural attunement. That's why we come to this natural place. And uh, as the way dread comes is not really by platinum or checking it or ordering it really. It is by you leave it. You leave it so that you, like a tree, just manifest your leaves. Yeah, okay. And, and uh, yeah, it would be like back to front to, to really not taking the, the water of nature for the sake of preserving your, you know, that's about yeah. people who have their hairstyle there. No, 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 it's not dread. Okay. So you know you're moving towards dread. You have to let your dread do what it needs. You wash it, you dry it if you have to. You don't even have to dry it. You let sun dry it. And you let it come natural. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. The shower is too good to miss. Yeah, man. Fuck. Should I put my head? Yes, man. Right back. Right back. Okay, come on and look at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch it. Man. My value is down. It was really, it was really interesting walking barefoot. But I did get about 15 thorns. Oh, it's so comfortable. It's been a pretty cold night again, and all I want to do this morning is take a shower. But here at Raskwintercept House, there's no shower, and there hasn't even been any water for five days now in Shashamana town. So every day, somebody has to go to the wa local watering station with these three drugs and collect some water. And today, it's my job. And the bad thing is, the local watering station is pretty far away. Carrying three of these full of water is going to be an impossible job.
I really don't feel like doing that whole journey three times again. I'm so tired, I'm so thirsty as well. My hands are sore. Oh, I should just take a little break for a bit today. Maybe go and shade somewhere. Cause right now here the sun is even hitting me. It's also so hot. Can I hold it for you? Do thanks, man. Whoa, you got big content, Addis. Yes, some nice this work. Weekend. Some Good. musical works coming up. That's Which really is... exciting. Take a deep breath and uh, give thanks. Is it a big show? Um, yeah, it'll be a good set of people. We've been planning. Only one thing, though. The, um, call it designer dreads strings to make the dreadlocks. Please take them out. It will come, it's not the, it's not the way. That's not the way. So I'm looking for a, a new look, Pascal, when I return. That's the part. Yeah, that's yes, fine. Yes, 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 yes. You know the way, I, 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 guidance. Actually, the Ethiopian Christmas is not at the 25th of December like it is in the Western world. It's on the 7th of January, which was a little bit strange to me. I was like, Christmas on the 7th of January? What? But that's their culture, and it's, yeah, everybody over there just makes sense, and that that's how, when Christmas is. Get away from the bustle and the hustle. And take it sweet mirror. Wonderful. This is wonderful, wonderful. Ugh. Fucking hell, it hurts. <laughs> you want to come out? Oh, it feels painful as well. Here you go. Look at this. <laughs> it's beautiful. This is the thing that were in my hair before. Now I took them out and now I'm 100% natural. This is rest meant to be. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. And there's my dreads. Natural dreads. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I'll bleed and get it. I'll get the hand. Nice. Nice, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Can you make it No. Take it out. 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 Take it out.
So if you take this here, Pascal, I'm gonna walk with you now to this okay. needs to come out of the way. Dangerous. Get, you know? Yes, it's a serious job this morning. Together with quite a lot of racism, sister and come to cook food and so on. Yeah, putting up this fence. Main fence on this side between these two neighbors. Security. It's a security move too. Sometimes the unwanted folk might get in and get from one yard to the other and so. So this fence is a long time. Something we've been meaning to do a long time. It's good to get together and uh, be able to do it today. There's always a way. Yeah. I and I train is trying to This is my first bundle of barbed wire I've ever made in my life. It's not the best bundle, but still bundle. Nice. Through faith and through works, all things are manifested. I, I feel real good in this, this time to see the unification of all Rastaman in, in creation in Ethiopia, in Shashamani, through the, through the powers of Holy Celestia first. It make I feel real good. Family, goodness. Right. Yes, yeah, but I'm gonna take it from you. You keep it up, and I got it. Yeah. Yeah, good community effort. Good. Uh, that's the only yeah. way to work, you know. Carry okay, these first, mm. and I'll come back for the rest. It's really amazing how there was 15 rasters at the beginning, and now there's about 300 families of rasters living in Shashamana, and they built everything from houses, restaurants to hotels. It's really amazing what the rest is built just from nothing. Also, the final ceremony in Cheshire was the Bob Marley's birthday bash. That was really fun. And then when all the ra other wrestlers came, they had wrestler DJs, rest like cool, good reggae music, good dub music. And I had a, I performed a little a performance on the stage. Pierre was charged with excitement as anxious, expectant faces searched the skies for the first glimpse of the great silver bird. Members of a local cult, the Rastafarians, were easily distinguished by their long beards and unshorn locks, and who worship this figure as a deity were present in full force.
the people who came to see the emperor and those who were residing here at that time, which is myself. And uh, we went to the palace. We got a formal invitation for members of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, which I was attending. And that's when I, I said, everybody approached the emperor differently. Some, they saluted him, and some, well, me, I kiss his hand and put a rose in his hand. And me, that was like, him. <laughs> the king, you know, that's the king who I serve as my god. My God and King. This shows that uh, when Bob Molly came through, he played with our band. Wait, which one? Where are you? That's me there. Right there? Yeah. Wow. Yes, we just wanted to say yeah. goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, So the colors right now are just so beautiful and amazing. They have like a kind of an orange tinge to it. And I believe it's because there's thunderstorms just around the corner. We've been hearing some thunder, so it's going to rain soon, which is, which is great. It hasn't rained in Shashamana for now, about six weeks now. And tonight it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. Rescue Step told me that water is like gold right now. So now the water's coming. It would like to be, so yeah, it would be such an amazing feeling. Feel the rain. The rain is coming. Can you see the rain? Raskun Seb told me that my trip to Ethiopia wouldn't be finished if I didn't go to Hoa to adjust a guru. Hello, guys. How are you? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 Because Joshua is the mountain top where Haile Selassie was born. It's a very special place for Rastas. It's like the new Bethlehem for them. On the occasion of the 1965 state visit to Malawi of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie. As many of you will know, there was a few years ago a tendency on the part of the independent states of Africa to form themselves into cliques or separate groups with different ideologies and outlooks upon the problems of Africa as a whole. These groups became known as the Monrovia Group and Casablanca Group of states. And at one time, there was a grave danger of rivalry between these two groups of countries being allowed to obscure 
the true needs of a united Africa. It was, however, His Imperial Majesty who first foresaw the dangers in these trades and the urgent need to bring these groups together and unify Africa as a whole. We in Africa are indeed fortunate that before it was too late, His Imperial Majesty took the initiative and in an endeavor to bring about greater unity between the states of Africa, His Majesty in June 1960 invited the then independent states of Africa to hold their second conference in Addis Ababa. In opening that conference, His Imperial Majesty stressed the need for closer collaboration among African states. And it was from those beginnings that there sprang the organization of African unity as we know it today. Yeshima bet, ye chan hoi inat. Yeshima bet, don't forget, ye tafari inat. Ras makonan, great African, ye chan hoi abat. Ras makonan, adwa jegnaman, ye tafari abat. Harar city. Rainbow country. Kesta demina. African destiny Through Dawit and Sahale Selassie Harar city Heavenly signs we've seen In the birthplace of him Kadamawi Gurmawi Aile We drove there the whole day. The last part of the journey to Jasagu, we had to walk by foot because the car couldn't drive up the mountain. No, we can't. It's difficult. The, the car no, can't. It can't. Let's just walk the rest. Hey, Jasagu. 10 kilometers. The Kosai. Yeah. We're gonna take our stuff and go up. Myself okay. and uh, and Pascal. So let's get our stuff. Give thanks for all your works, you know. But we have to make it. Okay. Thank you for driving us. Okay, bye. 
It took us a couple of hours to get up the mountain. My feet were killing me. Ethiopia realize what it is. In Ethiopia, most of the people's income is undisclosed. Yes, it's not just in money. They have animals, especially they have their crops. So they barter and exchange when they go to market in the weekday. Mm -hmm. You know, they take the animals to market. Oh yeah. They take their crops and they exchange for what they need. So to, to, to the, the money-based system of thinking, those people don't seem to have anything because they don't have money. But no. they have their things. Yeah, they have things. They have their food, they have their house, they have their... They could do this the old way. Their way of livelihood, yeah. Trading and things. And that's a security to them. They don't feel they're poor. They have enough animal in the field. They have their chat growing. They have their different things. So really, it's only when... I'm only living here in Ethiopia and that I'm, I'm somebody who could say my income is undisclosed too. I don't declare to the government I'm earning this or that. No. So they might put me down as almost destitute, having nothing. But in reality, I'm living in a piece to a standard of eating and working and, you know, raising the family and so on. I'm not on the bottom, bottom level of poverty. No. <clears throat> But it's not really um, registered by an international, if an international was to do a, a, a take, I, I would escape them. And just some millions of Ethiopians escape them. So they're just not so entrenched in the system yet. I don't know how far we are. How much longer? Understood. The stony road. Yeah, I can't imagine doing this six months pregnant. Yeah. Like the mother of Hal Slashi did. Here to the right, you're going to see some new buildings. Oh, yeah? That were built by the Rastafari community. Oh, this one here? Yes. These are toilets. Toilets? There was no proper toilets. So as we were expecting a good, good congregation, one of the things we did was build these toilets. Greetings. Hi. Yes. Nice to see you. Good to see you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your call fit my turn. Yeah. Yes, salam no? Salam no. Yes, sir. Man is in My priest in Brana Azano. Brana? Azano. Azano. Good to see you, Brana I bring some friends, man. This is rare around just as Majesty Ailes Lassie born. Born here. Father name Majesty. Rasma Konan. In this spot here, Likizi, right here? No. Za. Za. Yeah. There's a tree there, olive tree, and the Zait Weira Zait Alec? Zait Weira. Yes. So this tree, this Weira, this olive tree? Yes, yes. Kazi Weira Zait? Yeah. 
That's the mark of... Mm. Majesty is warm this. Here. Yeah. Here. Rastafarian this. Quintessette asked me, he asked me a question that I didn't think he was going to ask me. He asked me, so, ha so have you always been Rasta? And that's because Rasta, you cannot become Rasta. Because you either are Rasta or, or you're just not Rasta. Like. I've made my own conclusions about Rasta and what it's all about. And yeah, with this change, maybe some people would say that I went crazy in Ethiopia. But I don't think that's the case at all. I think I think I was crazy before when I came here. I got yeah, I got my got myself back together and my senses back together and put myself back in the right track. Going back in the right direction. And I'm letting Ja guide my boat in my life. I can now confidently call myself Bastafarian. Ja, Bastafari. Yes, you my bet, don't forget. 